This is a summary of the Viewpoint Console in Map View. The window I currently have open is displaying a couple of different portal instruments, the ASM or Automated Scrap Monitoring instrument and the SGS or Safety Guard Series instrument. What I'm showing here is a map view of several different instruments that are currently positioned around the United States. You can see that they're located around the perimeter of the United States, including a couple in Ohio, as well as in the Northeast and Florida. They can be located anywhere, and we can pull data from the instruments themselves, like GPS information, or for fixed instruments, you can even position them on the map based on known GPS coordinates. In this case, we've positioned actual customer instruments on the map as shown, not based on their physical locations, but in random locations just to create an effect. The GPS coordinates are not actually coming from these instruments as they are not pushing GPS coordinates back to the data server. If we look at the window with the yellow banner display, it actually corresponds to the speed alarm that's shown on the ASM tab. We can tell that this unit is an ASM because it has an A1, A2, B1, and B2. If we click on the ASM tab, we can see that one of these is in a speed alarm and it's this one right here. The yellow banner at the top of the window indicates that it's a speed alarm. Because this unit is displaying in red, it indicates an alarm level 2, and it's also an ASM. I can go back to the ASM tab and find out which unit is in alarm level 2. And it's this one right here. So again, by looking at the map view, we get a graphical representation of what's going on with that system. You can also see that the updates are happening in virtual real-time every few seconds. You can see that one just changed from 52 to 58 minutes and then to 00. And you can also see that the counts are changing very slightly based on background. This one is in alarm state, and you can see that the backgrounds are pretty low on these three detectors. They're all displaying in the high 18 and 1900s, while this one is in the 2100 range. So that detector must be getting an excess amount of signal based on the alarm thresholds. Again, you can see the difference between the ASM and SGS systems. The two systems have different information coming into viewpoint based on what the instrument capabilities are. It shows gross counts and background counts for the different channels. You can see it's not updating as often as the SGS model. Currently, the SGS instrument does not update until another event happens, whereas the ASMs are constantly pushing data and updating the counts displayed in the data window. So the SGS will not update its gross counts until another vehicle goes through or some other alarm event happens. You can see that the report time is updating every 10 seconds or so. The report time updates indicate the SGS is still operational. There are a lot of factors to how quickly this information updates. The strength of the internet connection from its location back to our server is one factor that's very important. You can see that it just went up from 303.58 to 304.12, so there are some factors that contribute to how often the information updates, but you can see it's currently updating and pushing data back to our server. So that's a quick overview of how the Viewpoint Console webpage displays window banner information and instrument data in a global or regional area to show the situational status of multiple instruments in real time. Thank you, and I hope you found this demonstration helpful and informative. For more information, visit thermofisher.com slash radiation measurement or email us at customerservice.rmsi at thermofisher.com.